What's up, guys? Hey, Coach. How you doing? Oh, doing great. How about y'all? Can't complain too much. We're good. Um, let's let's just start. Obviously, you guys are most of the way through spring now. I mean, pretty soon you'll be at the spring game. How, how from your perspective, obviously, how's the defensive line progressing uh, thus far? Well, we still got a lot of work to do. You know, there's there's still a whole bunch of stuff to to, to continue to improve upon daily. Uh, but I mean, I'm I'm very pleased with them. I mean, uh, you know, attitude and effort is is always going to be paramount. And I think the guys have have uh, grown in that area. Um, and, and so, therefore, if your attitude and your effort's right, you know, we can always correct stuff off the of film. We can always uh, get a guy that's in the wrong gap to understand where he should have been. Uh, we can te teach technique and fundamentals as long as they have a good attitude and effort. And uh, that part I've been very pleased with. Uh, the guys have worked very hard, um, and they, they're, they're building a bond, which is something that we've worked on the, the, the whole three years that we've been working in that room, you know. And somewhere we still got to improve, but that's something they are taking strides, in my opinion, right now uh, to do to have that that tightness, that thickness together, uh, that'll allow them to perform. Mark, uh, talk a little bit more about Kale Banks. It seems that no matter what person we talk to on the defense, they have nothing but glowing things to say, and it seems like he has a very real shot of getting some serious rep at nose or even at defensive end. Well, um, yeah, Caleb's done a good job. He. Uh, you know, obviously there's certain things that, that I can't teach and you can't teach and nobody can, you know. So uh, being 6'6 six, six or 6'7 six, or whatever he is, he's a lot taller than me, I can tell you that. But uh, And about 300 pounds, you know, those are things we can't teach. Now, the, Caleb is kind of an oddity because at that size, to be able to move around like he does is kind of it's strange. I mean, he's, he's very athletic for a man uh, uh, of that body uh um, style, uh, body size. So there's a lot of things that he's going to be able to do. He is truly untapped right now. Uh, I mean, he's just starting to figure out what he can be as a football player. Uh, he's got, a, he has a real, he's got a real fire and a real passion. You know, he, he get, he's got an anger inside him, which is a good thing as long as you can harness it and, and point it in the right direction. And that's what we're working on is channeling that, um, that, that, that fire, uh, towards uh, winning football plays and, and not being upset about things. So that's just part of being young. I mean, I think everybody's got some of that, not just Caleb. But, uh, yeah, he's done a good job. Uh, I think moving forward, he'll, he, he's still got his, his – where he can be, he's nowhere near it yet. And that doesn't mean he's not doing well. He's doing great. Uh, but he's just got – the places he can go from where he's at now is, uh, I wouldn't say unlimited, but he's got a lot of, uh, lot of room for growth, there's no doubt. Doing well, though, doing very well. Mark, where can what can Yaya do? What's the next step for Yaya that you want to see through the spring and in into fall camp and, and going into next year? Well, the, the deal with Yaya, and we've known this since we recruited him, uh, you know, it's that 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 terrible, dirty word. You talk about potential. Uh, you talk about the guy that could do all these things, and he can. You know, when he first got here, Yaya and I had some great conversations about just you know working on. Uh, taking those great skills that you have and building that toughness around it. And I think that last year he absolutely, I mean, it was, he's a totally different character as far as, you know, the, the toughness, the, the physical aggressiveness, the things that make you a great player. Now, the next phase, if you want to be that guy, it has to equal production. You know, being tough, being physical, being gifted, that's all great, but it has to equal production. It has to turn into sacks and not one or two, but – eight, nine, 10, let's get you into double digits. You know, it has to equal tackles for loss. And then it has to equal, you know, those knockbacks, those, those great plays where he's disruptive and, and making plays at the end of being disruptive. I think he became very disruptive last year. Now he's got to be able to finish and, and add the product production to the disruption. If that makes sense. That nose spot's obviously important. You mentioned Caleb. What about Desmond tell? How's he progressing this spring? Des is running with the ones. And he's doing fantastic. You know, if you remember back, very unfortunately, uh, Dez, as a, as a true freshman, uh, played a ton of football for us uh, during the uh, whatever you want to call it, the COVID year or whatever uh, you want to name that deal. Uh, and then late in that season, he actually started, I think, one game for us that year. But late in that season, uh, great effort. He's chasing a ball at Virginia, I don't know, 10, 15 yards downfield. And he dove, made the tackle and landed all of his weight, you know, on his shoulder and had an injury 
that ended that season, which was terrible. Um, and then last year he did a great job for us. Uh, he was in a pretty much a three-man rotation with two seniors, um, you know, two fifth-year guys, and Malik Clark and and um, Jock Turner. And so, and, and I think he started. They they really battled for that thing. I, I don't want to tell you a wrong number, but I think he started about three games, maybe four, something like that. They all did. They kind of all. It was just who graded out better the week before. They all played about the same amount of reps. But he, you know, having that type of experience and tells a tough. He's a tough. You know, he get in there. And, He'll scrap with anybody, you know. Uh, he's a guy, if you tell him you're not doing good, he takes it personal. He wants to go prove you wrong. So I appreciate that about him. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think Tell's going to do a great job next year, you know, just with knowledge of what we do and then that physical toughness. And I, I tell you what he is, he's quick. You know, he gets off the ball and, he, you know, he doesn't look like a sprinter, but he actually runs fairly well. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about what Des can bring to the table, no doubt. Mark, uh, how has the addition of uh, strength coach Ben Souders uh, impacted the DL, uh, the, the the defensive line room in terms of physicality and overall aggression? Well, Ben's Ben's only just begun to make his mark because, you know, he really only had him for, when did we start? The last day of February, so he had him, what, a month and a half? You know, really just a few weeks. Um, and, and I think Ben does an excellent job. Love being around him, have enjoyed uh, getting the way he works with the kids, his positive attitude, the things he's instilling in them, uh, a lot of discipline and, and a lot of just, um, I don't know, he's very charismatic and all that kind of good stuff. I love it. So I think the benefits from that, I think we've seen some benefits, but it'd be really hard to put, hey, what did the uh, straight coach do in, in a month, you know, on anybody? Uh, so I think the big benefits are going to come. They are coming already. I don't want to discredit that, but they'll continue to come throughout the whole summer, uh, what we'll do over the next several months leading up to the season. Uh, but uh, and I think it's just a lot of great positivity. And from what I can see, not just my guys, but my guys, and, and, and all of them are responding to that, uh, his attitude and, and the way he does things. I think it's been good. You guys good? Thanks, Coach. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Mark, Mark. Yep, you too.